Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Oven Break. So, with the new update of the Sugar Swan update, which is basically this Dessert Paradise Part 2, I want to mention that there's a couple of things that have been added to the game. However, one thing that's been added, I'm pretty sure it's most likely been added, because if it's not, then I'll kind of be shocked, is an entirely new Trophy Race map. As you can see here, if I go down here, then you can see there's a new map called Superstars World Tour Concert Hall, which I'm pretty sure this was a map before, and if it was, they probably add some new stuff to it, or I just haven't played it before, and it's pretty uh, obvious as to what's going on. And you may be wondering, whoa, you're still at, like, Beta Diamond 1? What's wrong with you? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, one of the main motivations of running a trophy race was to open gold chests, but now that gold chests seem to just be everywhere, uh, I, I don't really see a purpose. Like, of course you can get gems the more, like, high that you get, but, like, at the most, if I get through diamond, usually the max I can usually get to is to maybe master two, which that will only be a boost of, like, from 950 to, like, 1,005. That's only, like, a, what, a six, like, a 55 boost? Really not much, not much of a mode. Like, let's say if I was all the way down bronze 700 that I want to decide to do a few runs, and I can understand that. But there's not much going for me there. I mean, I guess I could still do a couple runs, but really doesn't matter. But anyway, we're going to be going ahead and trying to run through this new level to see what new availabilities and options there are. And by the way, as you can see, I can't generate a combi with Dr. Wasabi because... You know, it's unavailable since it's a new it's a newly released map within trophy race it's trying to gather all the information up trying to gather who is the best cookies to run with what's the best treasures what's the best pet what's the best strategy that you can go with and also that also varies on your difficulty so i think i'm just gonna generate some random one but let's let's go that uh, i guess i could generate my uh, go-to being a plumbing long end dragon with snake fruit but hey look at that i mean that actually that does rely on a lot of obstacle destroying so, I don't know. I guess we could do the one from the last one. It's only 3 star 2, so I guess it doesn't matter. But anyway, as we can see, if you don't know how these videos work, which I don't, even, I don't even know if that's the correct way for me today, but if you don't know how this video works, basically, I run in this map two times, on the lowest difficulty and on the highest difficulty. And I know I don't have the highest difficulty unlocked because getting 4 star requires rainbow rank and getting 5 stars requires master rank, which sucks. However, 3 stars is kind of all you need because it gets me to show off what crazy mode does. And you may be wondering what that does. Well, let me first explain all the difficulties in order. One star is just basically the whole entire map normally. Nothing changes. It is just pure vanilla cookie. Anyway, two stars is basically the same map, except there's a 10% speed increase difficulty. So you're going to have, you need, you need a little bit more faster reaction speed. And you're just going to have a fun time because uh, it's going to be stressful. Now, three stars, they still keep the 10% speed increase. However, this is when they introduce crazy mode. And if you may be wondering what the heck is crazy mode, well, basically, this is the same exact map except they added new things so that it can try and slip you up. They added new pitfalls, they can add new platforming, they can add new obstacles in your way, they can even change the jelly path. So technically, it's an advanced version of the level, and this can happen with all segments of the level. There's going to be something different in comparison to the normal mode. Now, with that being said, of course, I don't have the other things unlocked, but I will quickly go over what the other two stars do. If you reach four star, then this increases the speed increase. Like, the speed gets increased by 20% instead of 10. So you're going to need to be even faster and it just gets more difficult. And five star, it's still crazy mode. It's still 20%, but it adds obstacles. And I know what you're thinking. What's the difference between the little piece of scissor obstacle right there and by piece i mean pair of scissors in comparison to the stage obstacles well the, this obstacle specifically is to mess you up and other trophy racers who are trying to run within the run for example this cut of scissors what it does is that it slices the map in half and like makes one part a little bit more up and the other part a little bit more down making your screen all disoriented and it's difficult to run because it might mess you up so you're gonna have to focus harder but with that being said, we're only going to be focusing on one star and three star because I really want to go through this map because, uh, let's be honest, this map, Superstars World Tour Concert Hall, honestly, whenever I think of this, I'm probably going to be thinking of DJ Cookie, which I hear is actually a good cookie to run with in team fight. so I should probably make a video on that soon. Surprisingly, I haven't made a video on that yet. You know my proof? If I go back, uh, I haven't even clicked the new update thing. Wait, oh, that's for, uh... That's for the paradise thing. Never, ne never mind. Scri put, put whatever I said, put it under the rug. It's fine. We just got to go through this. It's fine. So with my cookies of white ghost and potato cookie equipped, we may as well get this started. Going to start off with one start, of course. Let's see how far we can get before getting ourselves smacked, fallen, or just failing in general. I will stay with you. You know what? That's a good, that's, that's good right there. And for some reason, wait, is this, is this chocolate bonbon cookie trial? I know, I know we are in uh, currently white ghost kicky skill, but what's the thing in the background we just saw right before the uh, the actual trial started? This yeah, th this is a uh, this this is chocolate bonbons trial. 
What does this have to do with being on a world? Uh, I guess it makes sense. Uh, maybe like, I don't know, Shining Glitter Cookie has to go and like get an outfit or something. And I guess Chocolate Bomb Bomb would be the best. I mean, to be honest, for a cookie like, you know, I was going to say sh uh, Sugar Glass. No, Shining Glitter. I swear, it's, it's hard to get all these cookies names correct. Especially when they release one every like few days at this point. I know it's like two every month, but come on. You also have to take Mine Kingdom and pretty soon some other games where there's probably going to be some exclusive cookies. But with that being said... I don't know. I feel like Shining Glitter would uh, have more of a fitting style for, like, uh, Sour Belt. Like, I just, think, I just think, like, the Rad more style would just be a little bit more hip. But, I don't know. And with that being said, now, speaking of which, we're at Sour Belt's trial. Maybe, uh, now Shining Glitter is just trying to go ahead and just pick up everything that she wants. And I'm, I'm not referring to White Ghost as Shining Glitter. It's just, you know, the level that we're trying to run in is the uh, World Concert, like, World Tour thing. So, of course, I'm going to be thinking, oh, that's a sugar glass cookie. And dang it, there it is again. Shining glitter cookie. I'm just thinking SG, and I'm thinking sugar glass, shining glitter. Syrup goat. <laughs> I don't know. Let, let's, let's, I wonder if Devsters is like, all right, let's take two keywords, and then we're going to make a new cookie. How does that sound? Uh, okay, uh, let's take some sugar. Uh, it's made out of glass, sugar glass. All right, cool. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, I have this sour belt piece. It's like uh, the sour strip of candy, and you can kind of form it into a belt. Bam, sour belt. That's what we got. What else are we cooking? Oh, here. Oh, I thought it was DJ's trial, but no, we're getting close now. This is now uh, popping candy cookies trial, which pretty sure after this, we should be able to enter shining glitters because, you know, they were released one after the other, which honestly, I get such nostalgia vibes from uh, popping candy and shining glitter because like, I know, uh, oh, I thought I was going to miss a bonus time, but I don't even think I can get a bonus time. Do they, even, I don't think they have bonus times in trophy race. I don't think, uh, maybe, no, I'm pretty sure they do. It's just, a. Uh, it's, it's exclusive to maps. I don't remember. I could be... I don't know. Uh, but whatever. I swear, as I, I mentioned this because uh, the... How do I say this? I'm trying to remember what it was. It was just a new Year's End concert. I think that's what it was, where it had uh, Poppy Candy and Shining Glitter. That was the second update I've ever played in Cookie Run that introduced, you know, new cookies. And I thought it was super unique because that was when I was starting to freshly play back in the day. Because the first update I played was the Operation Time Guard update. And here we go, Shining Glitter Concert, which now, I gotta be honest, probably one of my favorite trial themes in the whole entire game. Like, genuinely, like, it's hard to choose between, like, Shining Glitter and, like, Croissant, but I just love this music. It genuinely sounds amazing. I know you'd be maybe thinking, like, oh, K-pop Club Lord. Hey, it's not like it's bad music. Like, why would I repeatedly diss on some sort of a song if it's, like, if it tries to be good? Oh, my skill activated one more time, which was so perfect because I was literally just about to run out of energy right there. Can we get 500 million? Two, three. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Nice, nice. And we're in the clear. All right, cool. All right, now swap it to potato cookie. Let's get some free points right here. I wonder if I could cheese a certain event. I'll talk about that in like some other upload. But right now I'm trying to focus on this. So far, we're doing good so far, which I'm happy about. I just need to keep my focus up. We already did our whole entire run with a uh, whole spooky ghost. And now we're on to the next portion, which is... Is this... Oh, this is a... Uh... Whipped Cream's Trial. I literally just did a video for Whipped Cream Cookie. That The Whipped Cream Cookie uh, fact video wasn't supposed to be like some sort of a 30k celebration fact video. But the reason why I did it was just because, you know, it had to do with the uh, Dessert Paradise update. And Whipped Cream was actually one of the key cookies of that. So I was just like, hey, you know what? That's pretty neat. So I may as well do a fact video on that. I could also do a fact video for Blue Slushy. Though, I don't know. Uh, right now, like today is a... Uh, it's actually getting close to Thursday. Sorry if I missed... I'm pretty sure I got that pig. I was just quickly, quickly looking over at my clock. Because I just want to make sure that uh, today was actually like Wednesday or Thursday. Right now, it's still currently Thursday. Which, that's actually completely wrong. It's going to turn Thursday in 20 minutes. Because I'm recording this at like 11.41pm. Because I have a lot of oven break videos to make. Because, you know, new updates, new stuff. And even after this video is done, I got to quickly edit a Kingdom video. And I also need to record Kingdom as well. So this is going to be a long night of recordings. Which, of course, one day, I'm, like, taking the whole entire day to, like, upload, like, a Plumbing Kick Run tier list video, which, that was a big video that I'm still proud of. But, of course, now the next day, I, like, take a little bit to break, just a little bit to manage myself, and now I'm back to work. It's like everything just fades away within just a couple of moments. I mean, hey, look at that. S plus on that run alone. I know it was just one star, but you know what? I'm happy with the progress that I made. All right. Got a couple things right there. Who cares? And also got some things for tickets. Pretty fresh. But of course, while I am impressed with the run that I just did right there, it's not over because we still have to do crazy mode with a 10% speed increase. Which, if you think I'm going to die, then you better get strapped in for this one. 
I should probably stream myself doing more trophy races. Like, would y'all be interested in that? Like, me trying to uh, stream myself doing, like, trophy races and stuff. Because I feel like that would be pretty cool. Anyway, let me just make sure it is on three stars. All right, let's get this done. I want you to know, by the way, this morning, uh, not, you know, the morning of, like, a Thursday. I mean, literally, uh, yesterday morning, I guess we'll just go with that. I was trying to set up my Nintendo Switch to, like, just broadcast on my TV. Because, you know, how it has a little dock system where, like, you plug it into the dock, then you plug it into the TV... And then you plug in the uh, power supply into like a plug. It's just like that. And let me tell you, it just did not work. Like, first of all, I tried it with my capture card, which I'm pretty sure my capture card is just like ganked. Like, I'm pretty sure it does work, but I don't know if the cords are just stupid and like just, just, just don't work. It's kind of ridiculous. But it's just, I don't know. For some reason, this like the dock is just like, it didn't connect. Like, at first I tried it with the capture card. I tried making it stream on my OBS. And for some reason... It just didn't showcase. I tried unplugging, replugging. Maybe I need to reinstall some things. I don't know. But then again, it is a rather cheap capture card, so I didn't expect it to really work. But, eh, whatever. Maybe I gotta look up, like, some sort of thing for, like, specifically my Switch, because, like, I, pr I primarily play games on my Switch, which I've been trying to do a little bit more of, just so I can have a little bit more me time. But that's just also me wasting time to make, uh, you know, potentially make content. Which, by the way... I'm going to be stressing out because in a couple, like two weeks, they're probably going to be releasing the new Pick Your Run Oven Break 2 and I'm going to have to work on that video, and that's going to be stressful because I'm going to usually have to do a focus on a whole day, basically like what I did with the tier list video. It takes me a whole day to usually make those videos, which, I mean, we didn't record that in one day, literally we recorded that back in October, but of course, it, it still took me like a whole day to edit because I really wanted to push out that video as soon as possible because I didn't want like a 30,000 like 30, subscriber special to wait. But, eh, I just had to get it done anyway. I didn't want to be holding that off. But, anyway, yeah, honestly, if I, could take, if I could take a break, I would. But, hey, growth is slow, but slow growth is sometimes good. It's a fun fact, we're already at 30.1 thousand. Like, genuinely, it, we're, we are so good already, which I just want to keep on growing just so I can keep on supporting everyone that I can. Because, honestly, I love each and every one of, like, the people who watch, the people who I collab with, the people who I, like, make videos with, the people who I watch videos, like, the people who I watch videos from, like, genuinely, they all mean a lot to me, and if I can do something in return to, like, show my thanks and gratitude to each and every single one of them, then I would, because that's how much I genuinely care. Some people say that I have the weakness of me caring too much, but personally, I think that's the thing that gives me a lot of motivation, but, eh, to each their own, I guess, best way that I can describe it. Okay, all that, there we go. Not too, not too many differences as far as my knowledge goes, but then again, my skill could be activating during, like, crucial parts where I could get hit. So maybe there's that that I also have to take into consideration. I don't know. I also love the little uh, detail of the boom box, where it's just, like, it's slowly bouncing up, and it's just, like, beep, beep, just because, like, you know, the song is playing in the background. It's, like, booming bass. I don't know. If only this trial had DJ cookie, but unfortunately, it just has, for some reason, the two outfit cookies and popping candy and shining glitter, which popping candy, I can understand, because, you know, it makes sense. Then there's whipped cream... Oh, I got a little bit of extra distance right there. There we go. But, and I know it really wasn't much difference. It, difference? Distance. It really wasn't much of a difference because it was just a small little bit of distance jump. But what matters is that, well, I made a little tiny bit of a bigger jump, which can end up helping me. And I'm pretty sure I also got, like, a, a jelly transformation thing, which can also help. Because, you know, more points. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure this is also where it gets tougher here. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the more difficult jumps was actually here. Because I certainly don't remember that one. I certainly do not remember that. Like, that seemed too stressful for me to even, like, make. Oh, that's gonna... Oh, and there's all that, too. Why not? This... I would be surprised if only the hard mode features affected this last portion. Because I'm sorry. What do you call that? Uh, and why wasn't there anything... Like, I probably did mention, like... I know I already made this excuse. Quote-unquote excuse. Like, oh, maybe when my skill activated, maybe just, like, I wasn't able to see some of the new additions that they made because my skill just made myself float all over all that. But I don't know. It just kind of felt like there should have been more, like, I don't know, on, on the visuals. Whatever. I mean, I only f I got hit once. I probably could have actually clutched it if I didn't. But I still made it to over 700 million, which is still A rank. Not bad. I could do way better, though. But, uh, yeah, it's whatever. I just need to do more of this in my off time. Probably actually run a trophy races so I don't feel lazy about it. Anyway, I'm going to end this video right there. Good levels, though. And with that being said, uh, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kicker Run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe? And also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, in the description, ooh, you'll, see a links, uh, you'll see links to all my social media. You'll see a link to my Discord server called the Hypebeast Hub. You'll see a link to my Twitter where there's a link where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Kicker Run YouTube stuff for absolutely free. And there's also a link to my merchandise if you want to buy anything. But above all else, 
I will see you and Denise and Guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Knees.